Okay, I'm reading from the hammer. These are your notes for uh, December 15th, 2013. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We were talking about Kathleen Kennedy in the beginning of class, and you said uh, you like her, and she doesn't hide her wrinkles. Wrinkles, of course, are shiwa. You said she's proud of her face. Uh, then we talked about the word exactly. Remember, exactly is not usually used for opinion, but you can use it to react to someone else's opinion. So, for example, if I say... Um, she's really smart. Then you can answer, oh, exactly. Like, sono tori this. Okay? Ping pong, like that. Um, what I mean is, I think she's proud of herself. What I mean is, is a way to explain your opinion better. Um, I don't think she's shallow. Remember, a shallow person is someone who cares only about superficial things, like looks or brand names or a popularity and fame, that's someone who's shallow. She's strong. She has a strong will. She is strong-willed. The pronunci- we You had trouble with the word will. Will. She has a strong will. May she. That's a noun. She is strong-willed. Keoshi. She is strong-willed. Enunciate. You have to learn to enunciate better. Enunciate is to say your words very clearly, like I am doing now. Please remember the word rust is sabi, and lust is seyoku. Okay? One more time. Sabi is rust. Seyoku is lust. I worked all night for the first time this year. I'm sorry, there's a spelling mistake, a typo mistake. I worked all night for the first time this year. First time. Please fix your notes. What time did you go home? I didn't. I got on the 753 bullet train bound for Tokyo. When you put a number in front of a train or an airplane, it just tells you what airplane or what train. So, for example, I'm taking the 7 a.m. to Tokyo. It means a bullet train. Or it could be airplane. You could say, I'm taking the 7 a.m. flight to Tokyo. I'm taking the 8 p.m. flight to California. I got a little tired. I got a little tired. He's not old enough to smoke. Um, he's not old enough to drink. I'm too old to work too hard. I'm too old to work too hard. Did you sleep on the plane? I'm sorry, train. Did you sleep on the train? No, I couldn't uh, because I went with my boss. We had to discuss a special bridge problem. The word gambate in Japanese... Uh, there are many ways to say this in English. You can say, go for it. Hang in there. Good luck. Go for it is used when you have a goal. You, you're, you, you have a goal. I want that. So your friend will say, go for it. Uh, hang in there is when someone is suffering a very difficult situation. He's suffering, so we say, hang in there. I know you're suffering, but hang in there. The word good luck or do your best is used when someone has to take a test, or they have to perform, give a speech, perform in a play, play in a game. If you have a baseball game tomorrow, we say, good luck, do your best. Uh, why did you go to Tokyo? Why did you go to Tokyo? Why did you go to Tokyo? I had to assist my boss at a meeting. Or I had a meeting. <coughs> when I was younger, I was used to working all night. Now, you said a custom. The custom's okay, but a custom's a bit formal. Your problem, one of your problems is you use too many formal words. When I was younger, I, I was used to working all night. I'm a little under the weather. I'm a little under... <coughs> I'm a little under the weather. My nose is a little stuffed up. Stuffed up. I'm a little nasally. Hanagoe. Nasally. I have a runny nose. Hanamizu. I have to blow my nose. Hanaokamu. Blow my nose with a handkerchief. Blow. If someone says achu in English, you have to say bless you or gesundheit. I asked you, what do you think about the uh, tokubetsu himitsu hogoho? And you said, this, this, uh, by the way, in, Jap- in English, the state secrecy law. You said the law is the worst. That's good English. 82% of Japanese people want to revise it or abolish it. Revise, shuhei suru, uh, shu- sudu, and abolish. Hai shisuru. 
Then we talked about China and the fact that they recently landed on the moon. They have a special car. It's called a lunar rover or a moon car. Lunar, of course, is the adjective for moon. They asked a Chinese girl on TV, are you proud? And she said, of course, definitely. Remember, definitely is more of a cold decision. Handan suru. Naniko mite, handan suru. That's definitely. Absolutely is with heart and feeling. Absolutely. The Land Rover, U2, is equipped with ground penetrating radar. Penetrating is, uh, what's it? Tsuki nukeru? Tsuki toru? Mm, I can't read that. Kansu suru? To go through something, penetrate. It's also used sexually. He penetrated her. China plans to rob the moon. China plans to steal natural resources from the moon. The Chinese Revolution is Bunka Dai Kakume, the Chinese Revolution. Uh, many Chinese people died during the Chinese Revolution. I don't think Japan owed China anything. I don't think Japan owes China anything anymore. I should say, owes, ne? I don't think Japan owes China anything anymore. I don't think the Japanese government should give China ODA. ODA is Official Development Assistance, or Seifu Kai Hatsu Enjo. The cost of every the cost of every ODA project differs. Official Development Assistance ODA to China began in 1979, and from that time to the present, approximately 3.1331 trillion yen in loan aid yen loans. 145.7 billion yen in grant aid and 144.6 billion yen in technical cooperation have been implemented. I've been to the Philippines four times on ODA missions. My English conversation ability has not changed since then. My vocabulary has increased a little. My listening has improved a little. That's your lesson for today. Thank you very much. And again, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and I'll see you next year.